Well, Natalie, this is great because I felt like we only got to talk like a very brief, we overlapped so short at the foundation. Uh, but, and I think we're gonna have some technical stuff with the recording maybe, but if you could talk about a little bit about your piece that's at the foundation, I'd love to hear about it. I've seen an image of it, but I haven't seen it in person. Uh, the piece is, um has two aspects of my work. When I came to to Bollingen, I still worked with uh, with photography. It was uh, on the point to 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 leave uh, photography to to do uh, um, only painting. So it was uh, the best moment, and it it helped me a lot to be more free and and um, I in that piece uh, of the collection you see the, the the idea of to to abstract the nature with the clouds and if you see the clouds by themselves it's it looks like uh, the paintings I t uh, do till now uh, with the, the to try to find um, deepness in in the abstract uh, color working so that's a thing uh, that's very difficult and on the other hand side you see um, in 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 the piece is the element of the diptychs that they have the idea of of an input on the um, on the oh, upside uh, the 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 black and white first black and white uh, photo and then the idea of the of the subject as as a color field as a model on on below so um it's very um it's the only th piece i have with these two elements in some way uh together and like how so did you do you feel like your time at Ballenblen changed your work thereafter or was it a continuation of ideas that you had formed in Italy yeah i it's it was um in Italy you don't have nothing to do to with nature in in Italy everything is always um uh, related to civilization, to the, the story of history. And this is a reference uh, the painters have. And, uh, and um, so um, for me, as, a, as German, it was very nice to see as in, in Ireland, it's important to, the, the, to look at nature and to uh, find out uh, things for painting in uh, by nature. Yes. So this was um, this was very interesting for me, and Paul, and I also said uh, it, it, I got a painter by the clouds of of Ireland because they are changing so so fast. Yes. Weather is changing so fast, and if you do watercolors, you every time you look to what you have to do it's it's already already changed so you you are with your with your pencil you are you have to to run and that's what painting is the, the, the changing the reacting on on the situation yes yeah so much to do with memory too your, your memory of and color. also memory, yes. So it's a two things. So, so it's, it's it's a very dialectic um, operation. Yes, yes. Yeah, I thought the light. You know, the light is so incredible. Obviously, those things are tied together. You can't have color without light. But I think the light over there was really remarkable too, because as the weather changed every five minutes, so did the light. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a, uh, it's one of those things. We only overlapped one night. You were, you, you welcomed me really to the foundation, and you gave me, you left my family with this amazing cheese and wine. Uh, and Italian cheese. <laughs> the best cheese I've ever had. And then we had a great conversation. So I was just, I was so looking forward. To that. I, there in your college, and your son was so, 
so um, um, amazed about the cows. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. Well, we hadn't seen. You know, we hadn't. We never seen a peat burning fireplace before. Or uh, a contraption to raise the clothes uh, so they could dry in the cottage. Things like that were pretty remarkable. That's why what I, I, I said to my friend now, because I have to always to pay, to dry my painting so long time. So if I could, he couldn't think about a mechanism to, to do <laughs> <laughs> uh, something to, to uh, draw them up, to pull the, um, throw them up in the, on the, on the studio, like in, in the cottage. The, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, when you were there, did you find, did you have a, um, did you overlap with a group of artists that you had uh, stimulating conversations with, or were you all very different people that... Um... When I came the first time, I there was nobody okay. uh, to, to speak about. So um, then the second time, I, uh, I, I find um, uh, Donald Teske, uh, but he was very busy, so it, it, it was uh, not, not really conversation. And um, I had that later on, on the other, I, I, I went there different times. So um, I had that with Nuala when I, I did, did uh, a workshop with her. Yes. And with, uh, well, I mean, so one of the things I've I've looked at your work online. Wait, that's what I think. Uh, it's fantastic. Then you can speak with with artists, work with artists without this uh, competition you always have in your own context. Normally, in uh, yeah, yeah, it's a very freeing. Like being away from your home is very yes. freeing. Artists. And yeah. and also the, the the studio is so fantastic. You come in and it's like a hotel, so yeah. you come in without you you leave your own at home. You leave your own uh, outside. All this this uh, stuff we carry around our our pieces we don't like with the, the overdoing the of whew, and <laughs> you just come and have this little material. You have to go along for that period you are. Yes. Yeah, I find it very liberating because you can almost change your idea. Uh, your, uh, yeah, I think that's it. And, uh, and also the point you have to think about where to go, uh, who, are you, who you are, <laughs> what's going on. Do you find that your color, when you were there, did your sense of color change or did you carry color, your ideas of color with you from Yes, uh, that's uh, that's important because I uh, are living in Italy, Italy. We have a, a very um, mood um, um, palette. It's yeah. uh, I can I cannot perhaps I can show you one. I try to switch on. Yes. Can you see this? Yes. Yes. Oh. You see this, right? And I so this. You froze, but it's um, it's done with, with with it's mostly done with. Um, oh, can you see? Hear me? Hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, it's always it's mostly colors done with with white, yes. and in 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 Ireland and in, in north. Uh, in the north, mostly the color is done with black, and oh. I never um, used black before being in uh, in uh, in Ireland. So yep. I show you another piece. Yes. I just open up a little bit. Yes. Can you see this? Yes. Is that a watercolor? Yeah, that's watercolor. Yeah, yeah. So. This is you, you. You see the difference of of energy. Yes. It's uh, about Italy. It's it's uh, something. Uh, how you call uh, more harmony and um, yeah. In in and there it's like the weather. It's it's uh, not. It's you can't dominate. It's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like the sun soaked, you know, something about the sun soaked plaster in Italy and this brick and the, ties the hues together. It's kind yes. of mute them in some way. It's also, a, that's also a phenomenon in Italy when you're on top of a little hill and you look out and, you know, uh, things kind of settle into like a tonal range, a very tight tonal range. Mm -hmm. uh, in Ireland, it's much more violent. The contrast is higher. Yeah, I was, I'm, I was wondering about your colors. Your colors are a quite European in your world. Yes, I, I, I think. Why is that? Why did you come? Uh, what have you formed your your color idea? Your color preference? Yeah, I don't. That's a great question. I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, I think it came about because all of my all of the work I like to look at is over there. Ah, uh, yes. You like look to Polyakov. Yes, and I don't, I, don't have, I don't have a lot of new color, you know, color, just chemical color coming out of like plastics and stuff like I, the pigments themselves, a lot of synthetic pigments I'm not so interested in. Like they don't have yes, that's, that's why I, it's, I call it Europe, Europe, Europe uh, view, uh, kind of, of color culture. The, the Americans have much more this, um, the colors of the of the modern world of the um, all synthetic uh, products. Yes. Yeah. Hollywood. And I think, and, and I think in Europe you have uh, uh, the, the the leading element is the nature, or in Italy yes. the, the old master pieces. Yes. Yeah, and even where your color is really intense in Italy, like uh, like Venice, all the, of good. the Venetians, those that color is very strong, right? But it's not. It's still harmonious. I think color. I don't know. Color's complicated. 